What if I told you the ozone hole story you grew up hearing actually has a happy twist? Hold on before you scroll. This isn't just old news. It's a rare example of humans actually fixing a planetary problem. Back in the 1980s, scientists noticed something strange over Antarctica. Every spring, the ozone layer, that thin shield high above us, that blocks harmful ultraviolet rays, was vanishing. At first, people blamed volcanoes. But then came the shocking discovery. Everyday products, like old fridges, spray cans, and AC coolants released chlorofluorocarbons, or CFCs, which drifted up in shredded ozone molecules. Here is the wild pot. A single CFC molecule could keep destroying ozone for up to a century. Imagine one tiny villain molecule versus an entire atmospheric shield. Sounds like sci-fi, right? Enter Susan Solomon and her team. In 1986, she braved the freezing South Pole and proved CFCs were the real culprits. That evidence triggered the 1987 Montreal Protocol, a global agreement where every country on Earth signed to phase out CFCs. Yep, it's still the only UN treaty ratified by all 198 member states. And the payoff, according to NASA and the UN, the ozone layer is slowly healing. By 2040, most of it could return to 1980 levels. And the Antarctic hole might fully close by around 2066 if we keep it up. But here's the open loop. The same chemicals that destroyed ozone also warmed the planet. So by banning them, we accidentally slowed climate change too. Did you know that? So here's my question for you. If humanity could unite once to save the ozone, why do you think we struggle so much with climate change today? Drop your take in the comments. I'll be reading.